Hello, it's John here. Another episode here in the what to do versus an ultra defensive styled fighter in Jiu Jitsu. So we want that submission. One way, another way rather of setting that up is going to be the double attack. Hydro Gracie style. He's always in there with a cross collar choke. If you defend the cross collar choke, he's in on the arm bar. If you have two choices, both of them you get submitted from. On top of that, we're going to look at exposing his elbows more, which when you're going for that mount position and high up on for the arm bar, exposing the elbows is good. And why it works is it weakens his defensive position. He's trying to hold those elbows in nice and tight, his hands in good position. We walk those elbows up nice and high in the air, he's weaker, and then we give him a choice. Choked or armbar. Okay guys, next up in attacking that ultra defensive position is going to be a combination of two. We're going to weaken his position and then we're going to hit him with a double attack. Giving him two options. One, bad. The other one, also bad. Both of them submissions, we're going to get him with one of them. Okay, uh, so best done from the mount. Just do a couple of classic examples of this. If we have the mount, how we can weaken his position. He has his elbows in tight and his hands in near his neck. Hard to get at him. If we can get these elbows up higher, up towards here, it's gonna weaken his position. How do we do that? Sometimes we can literally start lifting and come up behind it with our hip. Sometimes when we start coming up for a choke, he starts lifting his hands up even just an inch. It only has to come up a little bit for us to get our hip in behind it. I'll do on this side here, hip in behind it, and start driving up that bit further and start getting towards a high mount. So we're gonna combine weakening his position with the double attack, two submissions. One common one is, if we can get a Kimura. Two hands on here, starting to push down, elbow beside his ear. We can start finishing this, standard, down to his body. But as we go down there, if he doesn't want the Kimura, quite often he'll turn and start pushing with this hand to clear our hands off. Now, you see this position here? He's wide open for an armbar. So we gave him the choice, accept the Kimura or open himself up for an armbar. As he goes for that, we bring our knee up higher, start bringing his elbows together, coming around, S mount, armbar, leg over the head, standard finish. Another one is the classic Hydra Gracie. We're coming in with the choke. If we manage to get one hand in deep and we're starting to finish here, we can go normally around the head, hand in, finish. Perfectly good finish. If we can get it, fine. Quite often he will counter. He'll try to either grab this arm here and roll over, or he knows the second hand is very important. So he blocks this space here with his hands, trying to block it, or as this hand comes in, trying to block it. Notice again, his elbow is up. We get around that elbow, an arm bar, we're attacking his elbow, so around it. He lifts up a tiny bit, and there it is. Start to finish off the arm as normal, S mount go, or we can come back on the choke again if we want. If we want to cinch this one up and drop back down, we can go. It works both ways. We can use the arm bar when we have a grip like that to get the collar choke, or we can use the collar choke to set up the arm bar. Again, two options, both of them, we get the submission. Happy days. All right, give it a try in the match, guys, and let us know how you get on. Oops.